guest artist here today, and he's been helping paint stage sets for um, Winter Box. And she's been painting me these wonderful little drawings on my board. Draw one, Dave. Show for what it looks like. All right, cool. Would you grab a few more markers? Yeah. My markers are really dry. I would, the this is the reason why I'm here, actually, because I would I would be coming in here about Saturday or Sunday with uh, uh, Barbara Fox, and she was painting the the Wizard of Oz flask for your show, and she says, Dave, why don't you come on in and help me paint? This is overwhelming, and I said, okay. And I would have to clean the brushes. I'd come in, it's like, whiteboard. Oh my God, it's whiteboard. And there's markers. So I couldn't resist. So I was doing these little drawings. It's like, and I put a little body on him. And I had to do this really quick, and I didn't want to get caught. So I put some hands on him. And I, and I put some text usually. I had to think fast because I had to get back to work. You are loved. And I left. And I didn't sign it. And uh, a couple weeks went by and your teacher came on the stage and she said, Hi, I'm Zan. It's like, oh, that's nice. I'm Dave Griffith. It's like, you're Dave Griffith. And I said, before I go anything, I apologize for drawing on your whiteboard. She says, no, the kids came, some of the kids came in my class and said, did the kids, did some of the students, like, copy Griffith or was he actually here? I'm like, I don't want it. So she said, do you want to come in and show the kids how to draw? And I said, sure. So that's what we did. This is really quick. Basic, simple shapes. And that's how I, this is as quick as my name now. But we have big circles, little circles. We have sharp angles, squares. We have a heart. We have triangles for the feet. Sometimes the monster has three hands, three fingers, and sometimes it has five because the monster can do whatever he wants. Sometimes I put in more arms. Sometimes there's more legs. You do whatever I want. And then there's the worm. Some people like the worm. We have a big circle for the worm. Don't ask me how I came up with this stuff because I have no idea. We have a big circle for the eye, small for the pupil. He comes down and he comes. The worm, she's usually, or he's usually coming out of the grass. And then we have the little ribs. And then we have to get we get crazy. We get put dots. I don't know why we're going to dots. There we go. And then the body's extended up here like that. More ribs. Like that. And then there's sometimes there's a bird up here. And the bird would be up here like this. The beak. The eyeball. Really curly cue and the big head like that, the body, and the feet, and they're dive bombing for the worm. And maybe there's a cat over here. The cat is made by. We're gonna have to kill the monster. Bye bye monster. The cat. You might have some pictures of the cat. Here it is. So I usually use crayon markers, whatever. I use what you have. Actually, can you believe it? I'm a full-time artist. Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. No, he just told me this morning, and he's being very modest. But this morning, I drove into his driveway to pick him up. He's very ecologically minded. He does not own a car. Oh, well, I don't have a car anymore. Yeah. That's good. No, that's good. And his whole yard is filled with critters. These but are these are the small they ones. Critters. And big signs that say, be kind, be yeah. kind, be kind. Yes. And he just told me that a friend of his has been invited to be the director of the 
gift shop at what, what it's museum? It's the Monmouth. It's the, it's the Art Center Artist Gallery uh, Museum. I believe it's in um, New Jersey. So tell me, just give them a one sentence description of what is outsider art. Outsider artists are usually people that have not gone to school. They're outside of the system. They're um, a lot, they're just, um, some of them are in, in, in hospitals permanently because like, their, their mental state is not all well. They're not, maybe they be schizoph schizophrenic or they have a, um, they're manually deficient, you know, or they have Down syndrome, or a lot of them, or they maybe just didn't go to school all the way. And um, so a lot of them are, are not taught, you know, like you guys are in this classroom. Um, and I've been classified as outside artist sometimes, but I really don't think I am. I just do the work that I do. And a lot of times they use whatever materials they have. Like this piece here, it's a it's a, a skid or a pallet for the base. The body is somebody gave me a whole bunch of piano hammers, all the guts to the ham to the to the piano. I got 88 keys and 88 hammers from a just broken up pit piano. So these are the hammers from a broken up piano, and I just cut them all up and I painted them. Like that. So that's what these pieces here are. The pad, these pads here, those are the pads that struck the strings in the piano. So that was all painted of scrap pieces of wood. There's another one. There's the turquoise one over there, and he has. Um, they're just it's basically the same kind of shape, but I just painted it differently. And he makes these little matchbook size ones that fit inside a matchbook. Yeah. And the guy at the gift shop said. How many do you have? He said 150. Yeah. The guy said, "Give me those and give me 150 yeah, more." more. Right? I've made probably for one gallery, another gallery, I made 200 of these. They're made with um, a special quick glue, spray glue, um, and um, they're all made out of matchsticks, popsicle sticks. Like the head, that curved part is the end of the popsicle stick. This is this is one of the bigger ones. He's about an inch high. The smallest ones are about four sixteenths of an inch high. And they run with about five colors, and they have a fluffy tail, like thread on the tail, so it gets detailed. Four sixteenths is about like that. It stands up in the bottom of the matchbox. Very, very small. Don't ask me how I do it. I have to, like, hold my breath and then do the work. If I, like, go, like, that the thing shoots across the room and I have to start all over again. Very small. So I work from very small to this is the next size up probably. And then there's bigger ones like your teacher said they're about this high in the yard. And there's probably about a dozen of them in the yard right now. And then there's the signs like be kind, thank you and that kind of stuff in the yard too as well. And it's all found recycled wood that I found on trash day. Um, yeah. So I do a lot of different things. I do the toys, the stuff toys like a snake. And um, so I do shows, I come to schools, and uh, I do, believe it or not, I do this full time. This is my living. And you know, some people are accountants or lawyers or doctors. I'm a full time artist.